Regina Chelli. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Queen of Heaven, rejoice. Hallelujah. For he whom you did merit to bear, Hallelujah. has risen as he said, Hallelujah. Pray for us to God, Hallelujah. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Hallelujah. For the Lord has truly risen, Hallelujah. Let us pray, O, o God, God, who gave joy to the world, to the, the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant we beseech thee, that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance always remain with us. Amen. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. During this Eucharistic celebration, let us pray for the following intentions. For the soul of Bebiana de Souza, and this Mass is also offered as a Thanksgiving Mass by Stanley de Lima on his 50th birthday. Is he here, Stanley? Okay. So we'll pray for him. Any others who are celebrating their birthdays? Okay, yeah. Let's also pray for all those who are celebrating their anniversaries. Anybody celebrating anniversaries? Okay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. 
my dear brothers and sisters in the gospel of the day sorry in the first reading of the day we see the attitude of the disciples after the resurrection of jesus we know the disciples were frightened but now they become courageous and one of the instances is that in spite of warning receiving the warning that they should not preach jesus or the gospel publicly they go on to preach the gospel among the people and as a result they are brought to the sanhedrin and they are questioned and that is when we need to appreciate the statement made by peter wherein he says should we obey humans or should we obey god we will obey god so he was strong enough to tell the officials and the religious leaders of the time that our faith makes us to obey god and we see the courage in their faith the same disciples who were frightened who were inside the room now they are able to proclaim jesus that resurrection experience that strengthening by jesus makes them strong makes them bold enough to proclaim and be courageous in the faith secondly they are able to or they are ready to suffer they are not worried about the sufferings that they would receive from the emperors or the religious leaders they are ready to suffer and die for the gospel and where do they receive this uh, strength as i said of course the appearance of jesus and strengthening the strengthening by jesus during his appearances along with that the coming of the holy spirit it is holy spirit who accompanies them and uh, strengthened by that holy spirit uh, filled with courage with by that holy spirit makes them to proclaim the gospel to the people so my dear brothers and sisters today we need to ask this question to ourselves we too have received the holy spirit maybe through our various sacraments through our baptism through the sacrament of confirmation and various other sacraments we receive the holy spirit but do we go out and proclaim the message of christ do we proclaim the gospel to the people may not be openly preaching the gospel but at least through our way of living through our day to day lives to an example so are we doing that so let us introspect our own life and let us ask the grace to proclaim christ through our way of living let us now pause for a while let us acknowledge our sinfulness and let us prepare ourselves for this holy eucharist with contrite heart let's say together i confess to almighty god and to my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask blessed mary our virgin all the angels and saints and to my brothers and sisters to pray for me the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life the bishop saint stanislaus fell beneath the swords of his persecutors grant we pray 
that we may persevere strong in faith even until death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, when the officers had brought the apostles, they set them before the council. And the high priest questioned them, saying, We strictly charged you not to teach in this name. Yet here you are filled Jerusalem with your teaching, and you intend to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles answered, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised Jesus, whom you killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are witnesses of these things. And so is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they were enraged and wanted to kill them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response. The lowly one called, and the Lord heard him. Kindly repeat. The, the lowly, lowly one called, and, and the Lord heard him. him. I will bless the Lord at all times. Praise of him is always in my mouth. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Bless the man who seeks refuge in him. Our response. The, the lowly, lowly one, one called, and, and the Lord heard him. him. The Lord turns his face against the wicked to destroy the remembrance from the earth. When the just cried out, the Lord hears and rescues them in all their distress. Our response, the, the, lowly, the lowly one, one called and the Lord heard him. The Lord is close to the broken hearted. Those whose spirit is crushed, he will save. Many are the trials of the just man, but from them all the Lord will rescue him. Our response, the lowly, the lowly one, one called and, and the Lord, Lord heard him. him. Kindly rise for the gospel. Because you have seen me, says the Lord, blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to you, o Lord. He who comes from above is above all. He who is of the earth belongs to the earth and speaks in an earthly way. He who comes from heaven is above all. He bears witness to what he has seen and heard, yet no one receives his testimony. Whoever receives his testimony sets his seal to this, that God is true. For he whom God has sent utters the words of God, 
for he gives the spirit without measure the father loves the son and has given all things into his hand whoever believes in the son has eternal life who does not obey the son shall not see life but the wrath of god remains on him the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ Dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty, Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice that you are making for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise which we offer to Your Majesty in commemoration of Blessed Martyr Stanislaus, that it may lead us to obtain pardon. and confirm us in perpetual thanksgiving through Christ our Lord Amen The Lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your heart we lift them up to the Lord let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is right and just It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Stanislaus, poured out like Christ to glory for your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which, in our weakness, you perfect your power, and on the feeble best of strength to bear you witness. through Christ our lord and so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, not willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and also our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co host to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity according to your will. For live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only take the word, and my soul shall be healed. Thank you. 
have received your heavenly gift rejoicing at this feast o lord grant us we pray that we who in this divine banquet proclaim the death of your son may merit to be partakers with the holy martyrs in his resurrection and his glory who lives and reigns forever and ever amen the lord be with you May Almighty God bless you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth the mass is sent. Thanks be to God. The jubilee prayer. Father in heaven, may the faith you have given us in your son Jesus Christ our brother and the flame of charity and kindle in our hearts by the holy spirit reawaken in us the blessed hope for the coming of your kingdom may your grace transform us into tireless cultivators of the seeds of the gospel may those seeds transform from within both humanity and the whole cosmos in the sure expectation of a new heaven and a new earth when with the powers of evil vanquished your glory will shine eternally May the grace of the jubilee reawaken in us pilgrims of hope a yearning for the treasures of heaven may that same grace spread the joy and peace of our redeemer throughout the earth to you our god eternally blessed be glory and praise forever amen wish you all a wonderful day wish you the same father archangel defend us in battle be a protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil may god rebuke him we humbly pray and do thou o prince of the heavenly host by the power of god cast into hell satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world seeking the ruin of souls Amen. <laughs>